So I have got another question from the same viewer from my previous video of linking cells between different spreadsheets. This time the problem is a bit more complicated. You can look at this problem in your own time. In the previous video I have shown you how to link your sheet 1 sum of all these cells on B1 to B30 into sheet 2 B1 cell. So this is the sum of all these stocks. But now the user is saying I want just to add all my stocks onto cell B1 and it would override cell B1 obviously but it would remember the previous value in here and add the B1 value to the previous value in here and that would become the current stock. So let's do this. It's a bit more complicated and we have to use VBA code to be able to do this but don't worry. I will show you step by step how to achieve this. First of all, we need to reset this value of current stock to zero. Then we go to sheet one and then we just get rid of the other cells because we just want to use this value to add. Then go to the developer tab and then go to visual basic. In here, just make sure you double click on sheet one and we need to create our first sub. So we type private sub worksheet underscore change by val target as range enter. Okay, you can make this capitals. Now we need to define a range. So dim key cells as range. Enter. Set key cells is equals to range and we want our range to be B1. Close the bracket. Enter. So we are defining a range by which when that value changes, we're going to activate another sub to do the calculations. So to make sure that not any cell you change on your sheet one would trigger this function or sub, we need to create an if statement. So if not application dot intersect key cells range target dot address close bracket close bracket is nothing then enter. Basically this means if B1 has changed then we do whatever we want to do inside this if statement otherwise we wouldn't do anything. We would just ignore it. So but what we want to do first we need to define a temporary integer and then we need to give that integer of our value which is temp is equals to range b1.value. So this temp would take the value of cell b1 from sheet 1. So enter. So, so far so good but we need to now create a module. So go here, right click and then click on insert and click on insert a module and we need to make our module public so other sheets could access it and we call it add stock one because we want to keep adding the new stock to the current stock. Again we will go by reference and we need to define a variable which we call it stock one quantity as integer because the quantity not going to be a decimal it's going to be an integer. Then we need to define another temporary integer and then we need to give that temporary integer a value. So I'm going to give worksheets. So what we are doing here is we are going to sheet 2 and we are accessing the value of cell B1 and we are assigning that to our temporary variable which is defined as integer. And then what we basically want to do is to add worksheet. We want to access the same cell but this time we want to add the temp. So temp is the current value which was 0 with the one that the sheet 1 gonna send to us and we call that stock 1 quantity. Then you go to the next line and we have now finished the coding. So this is the code on sheet 1 and this is the code on module 1. Now that we have finished this public sub we need to go to sheet 1 
and we need to call this simply type add stock one one and then it will recognize it and then we just want to give it the temporary value and here don't forget to close the if statement by typing end if you can save so remember current stock is zero and here if I now type 20 this becomes 20 so far so good and that formula is not there anymore and we want now to add more stocks to stock one we add 10 this value is now overwritten and then if I go there it became 30 so you can see 10 plus 20 30 and let's put 7 to make it around 100 in here and we got 100 just a revision here this line intercepts cell B1 then we give the value of cell B1 to an integer and then we send it to this public sub which is save now a module and that public sub would add the two values together and then we get the current stock.